Before we start, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Jeremy Cook. I'm one of the trainers here at Cloud Academy, specialising in DevOps. Let's do a side-by-side -side comparison of monolithic versus microservice. As seen here, monolithic-based applications tend to have a very simple layered structure of components. In this case, a typical three-tiered application exists of a user interface layer, business logic layer, and data access layer. Communication passes synchronously from top to bottom, and then back in the reverse. All data resides in a single database, and access to it must be performed through the data access layer. Often, this monolithic design is implemented in a single language and is built and deployed as a single unit, meaning that there is often tight coupling between components and or layers. At the outset of any project adopting this design, implementation testing and deployment is both simple and quick. However, over time, the ability to maintain and add new features, test in isolation, deploy, and scale the monolithic become increasingly difficult. Microservices address these problems by breaking apart the monolithic into a number of smaller loosely coupled microservices. Typically, a microservice models a single distinct business function that when combined together with other microservices provides a complete business application as exposed by the user interface. Communication between microservices is often performed using APIs where each microservice exposes its functionality as a well-defined interface. Communication is often free to happen between any two microservices as required by the overall system to work. Each individual microservice can be developed independently of each and every other microservice, allowing for polyglot style development and allowing scaling per microservice. Finally, each microservice can be paired with its own flavor of database, which is best suited to the microservice's specific needs. For example, pairing a microservice with a SQL database versus a NoSQL database versus a graph-based database. The following website documents additional attributes associated with both the monolithic and microservice-based architectures and is highly recommended reading. In particular, take a look at the links presented here. For each style of architecture, the website provides pattern information on context, problem, forces, solution, example, related patterns, and known uses. We really do hope you will enjoy and learn from this content.